Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sergeant Jimmy Thomas of the Royal Air Force Police, and I'm very proud to be here today at the world's greatest dog show. Helping the Royal Air Force celebrate their centenary year, please welcome to the arena for the very first time this afternoon, the Royal Air Force Police and their dogs. Please welcome onto their boxes, Corporal Hoskinson with Air Dog Phantom. Corporal Stewart with Air Dog Demon. Corporal Jones with Air Dog Hurricane. Today's team leader, Corporal Haworth with Air Dog Tornado. There's always one. Corporal Bunn with Air Dog Harrier. There appears to be a strong contingent from Manchester with us today. And finally today, Corporal Hahn with Air Dog Spitfire. Today's display will be one of agility, obedience and specialist training. Starting with a tribute to our colleagues in the Red Arrows, the six days in an arrowhead formation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure the team leader won't mind pausing for a second, so you may take a photo of all the dogs without the handlers in the way. <laughs> Big round of applause, please, for all the teams. All of the dogs on display today are currently employed on Royal Air Force Police duties throughout the UK. We have teams from Royal Air Force Coningsby, Royal Air Force North Alt, Royal Air Force Bryce Norton, Royal Air Force Leeming and the High Readiness Dog Unit at Royal Air Force Henlow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're very much a crowd participation team. So let's have big cheers, lots of clapping for the teams as they complete the sacking line, starting with Phantom. Let's hear it for Spitfire. And now for Demon. A big cheer for Hurricane! And finally, Tornado! If I could now draw your attention over to the left-hand side of the arena, you'll see we have three teams lined up in front of the scramble wall. And today, we're going to have ourselves a competition. So, boys and girls, you lot are first. Jumping for all the boys and girls, Air Dog Phantom. Okay, gentlemen, it's your turn now. Jumping for all the lads in the audience, Air Dog Demon. It's always a deeper cheer, that one. 
Okay, okay, and finally, jump in for all the ladies in the audience. And on Hurricane. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, just out of interest, boys and girls, with a little help from their mums as well, let's have another test here for Phantom, please. Boys and girls! Okay, that's better. All right, boys and girls, big cheer for Phantom! Easy. Okay, lads, lots of encouragement for Demon. <laughs> Ladies, now's your turn. Big cheer for Hurricane. <laughs> we'll now increase the height of the wall to approximately seven feet. Okay, boys and girls, one more big cheer for Phantom! He's making that look easy today. Okay, lads, big cheer for Demon! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on a second. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Health and safety obviously comes first with all of our dogs. Let's just get Corporal Taylor here to hold the microphone and check myself. Well, the intent there was for him to cheat, and he obviously hasn't. <laughs> However, for cheating anyway, you are disqualified. Back to your box goes Demon. Oh. It's all right, lads, you get another chance to cheer now. You can join in with the ladies. Cheer for Hurricane! <laughs> this really will be a competition now. Okay, let's get the height of the wall up again. Okay, boys and girls, another big cheer for Phantom! He is making that look easy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, big cheer for Hurricane! Oh, Corporal Jones, did you push her? Integrity, Corporal Jones. Return to your box. Disqualified. Okay, we'll put the height of the wall up one more time. Let's have everybody in the arena give it a massive cheer for Phantom! No help needed. Today's winner from the High Readiness Dog Unit at RAF Henlow. Please now welcome to the centre of the arena the team leader with Air Dog Tornado, who will complete the first piece of individually trained agility. We'll start with one who? Cheating out. Far too easy. Now we'll do the double. And now to demonstrate the reach of the Royal Air Force, the globe. Ali is very impressed with the crowd. He's having a good look around. And finally, a little bit of showing off. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's far too easy. And as you can see, the team leader has now been handed the smaller hoop. Check the size comparison, and she'll place this over Tornado's shoulders to demonstrate just how, how big he is compared to that. He's going to need plenty of encouragement now. She's taking this very seriously, marking out her spot in the arena. Okay, everybody in the arena, lots of encouragement. Big cheer for Tornado! There is a common misconception that dogs are colorblind. Through training and with a hopefully a little bit of magic today, we intend to prove this wrong. And as you can see, my assistant, now opening the magic box, will drop inside of it four colored dollies. The red one, 
the green, the blue, and finally the yellow. But it'd be far too easy to send them in and retrieve them in the order in which we've dropped them. So we're going to ask you to choose colours for us. Anyone? Strong yellow from over this way. What? Is there a problem? Not, do we not do yellow? Okay. Come on, yellow for Spitfire. The important word of command here, find yellow. Cheers for Spitfire! Let's give Harry a her chance. Another colour, please. Royal Air Force Blue, I like it. I like it. Royal Air Force Blue for Harrier. Oh, Harry. Let's give her one more chance to see if she can pick it out. Okay. <laughs> send Spitfire. Oh, there it is. So she dropped on the way out. We got there eventually. Right, we will send Spitfire through one more time to find the red one and to prove they're all in there. Let's find red. Find red, Spitfire. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a good old-fashioned boys versus girls race. So, please welcome to the centre of the arena, Air Dogs, Tornado and Phantom. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I won't tell you who to, choose, who to cheer for now. I'll let you decide that for yourself based on good looks alone. So, when the handlers are ready, on my mark, three, two, one, go! Oh, Phantom has a strong lead already. Today's winner, again from High Regnus Dog Unit, Air Dog Phantom. Voice the dog showing off. As previously mentioned, all of the dogs you see here to display, on display are currently employed on Royal Air Force Police duties throughout the UK. And ladies and gentlemen, we are commemorating 80 years of Royal Air Force Police dogs supporting the Royal Air Force assets, celebrating Royal Air Force Police handlers in the UK and across the world, working 365 days a year in all weather conditions, and hoping to inspire the next generation of RAF policemen and handlers. Let's have a final big cheer for our last line of agility, starting with Edok Spitfire! Let's hear it for today's champion, Phantom! And for Harrier! A big cheer for Demon! Oh, Demon. He lives up to his name. A big cheer for Tornado! Tornado's quite impressed by our assistant there as well. And finally for Hurricane! Please now welcome to the head of the formation, Warrant Officer Phil Brown from the 1st Tactical Bravo Squadron, the Project Officer for the Dog Demonstration Team. And helping to commemorate, please welcome Mr. Bill Beasy from the Royal Air Force Police Association. And with the intent to inspire, Cadet Corporal Pink from 42F Squadron. The salute this afternoon is being taken by Air Vice Marshal David Cooper, Air Officer Commanding Number 2 Group.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do hope you've enjoyed watching our display as much as we've enjoyed performing for you. For the final time today, trained to perfection with kindness, we give you the Royal Air Force Police and their dogs. <laughs>